What's up, Tech Herders? We're in Tuckwilla, Washington, and we're headed to RePC here. Uh, last time when I showed the RePC Museum, that was in Seattle. They say the RePC in Tuckwilla is a larger facility. Uh, let me spin the camera around All and right. we'll do a drive up. Let's take a spin to RePC. I pass this location many, many times a month, and I had no idea that RePC was right here all these years. If you're in the Tukwila area, you'll find RePC on Andover Boulevard. Oh, here it is, I see it right there. I see the trucks, it's one of these big office buildings or warehouse office buildings. And it looks like a full house. I'll catch y'all inside at RePC. So right when we get inside, we're not let down here either for vintage tech. Look at that Panasonic radio. That would look good today. Or it does look good today. They've got your retro computers covered. There's an Atari 800. I like this cutout of a Sun CRT. I'm gonna make a couple cuts so I don't get anybody on video. They got Mario Brothers rocking. PC. I feel like the other store was bigger. Maybe I'm mistaken. You have a specialty table. I'll pop back in if I find anything interesting. However, if you need a modem, new or old, they have you covered. At the other store, I saw some decent routers, some Dell ones that I was almost interested in. This one's a Power Connect 62460. We can take a run down memory lane, quite literally. got tons and tons of old cards, whether it's a SCSI card or the sound cards that you might need. I mean, they just have tons and tons and tons. Old hard drives. Oh. They've got your old hard drives in any size that you might need. tested and untested CRTs and old systems and new systems. Tested retro motherboards. Let me just 
these come in and start a 486 build, you know it's good. Or you can go dig and find something that's a bigger bargain. 386 machines, Pentium machines. So over here you have all your regular stuff and then you have your tested section where they have hardware just for every class um, of vintage and retro PC from any type of hard drive you might need to any type of card you might need. In RAM, they literally have you covered. Uh, you can come in and max out. Uh, I've seen almost every series of machine I have from 486 to Pentium 4s and more. Oh. Just a really cool place, these re-PCs. If you have one in your area, or if you're in the Seattle area, you really need to get up here because it's an awesome place. I don't think you can find um, these type of products at any of your recyclers presented in this fashion. Super cool places where hardware goes to live again. Literally, have you ever lost a DVD insert on an old laptop? Well, you can come here and dig through and maybe find your floppy disk. Might be a chore to go through, however, they literally have uh, hundreds and thousands upon hundreds and thousands. <laughs> really fun. Your Dreamcast dev box developer system. I think I saw a YouTube video about this. It was just like too much to show on video even. Uh, the place is just amazing. Oh God. From 10 gigabit ethernet NICs to uh, 1200 baht modems. You find everything inside of there. I was um, thinking about getting an older network switch to pair with my Dell R330 server. Um, they're right around 100 bucks or 200 if you're looking at a little better of one. But you know, they're they're five, 10 years old, but some of them are still gigabit and have ports even for up to 10 gig speeds. So RePC is really awesome. Um, as I start to show something weird in there, like uh, those DVD imports, uh, the DVD slots for your any old laptop, then you see all the batteries, the screens for them, the keyboards, um, and there's just thousands upon thousands of items you could dig through. Uh, RePC is a killer store and you should you should check them out it's worth it